Hi everyone, this is Eileen from Northern Light Tarot. I hope you're all doing really well. So the title of this reading is, Does He Miss Me? So please, for this reading, picture your person in your mind, imagine them, and then choose between these three sets of cards here. This is set of cards number one, this is set of cards number two, and this is set of cards number three. So I'll just give you a moment to do that now. So right now, I'm going to place aside a set of cards, number two, and this set of cards, number three. So I can go ahead now with this set of cards, number one, so the title of the reading does he miss me? And this is going to be an in-depth Celtic cross reading, look deep, looking deep into your person's energies for this question, okay? So um, let's first of all shuffle this deck several times. deck and place these cards down. So this card represents your person, the question, the crossing card or help or hinder card, subconscious hidden energies, past or near past, external energies, future or near future, feelings, environment, hopes, wishes and fears. And the outcome card, never to be taken in the literal sense, but to be interpreted. And here are our clarifying cards. So uh, let's go ahead now. So right at the centre of the reading. Oh my goodness. Oh. We have the Two of Cups, okay. So the Two of Cups, you know, it represents a very beautiful loving, balanced uh, connection between two people, okay? And it's right here at the center of the reading. Um, so, you know, there's a lot of love here, okay? Um, this person loves you. And there's something here about wanting to stand here in front of you, okay? There's something here about bringing you, they want to bring you close to them, okay? They just want to tell you how they feel, okay? Um, undoubtedly here. Uh, let, let's take some more for this Two of Cups. Um, now, clearly, we could be dealing with a double water energy, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, that we don't need to be. Um, let's take some more now. Ace of Pentacles. Okay, so now this can be about the offer. Okay, um, this can be about a, a brand new beginning for you two. Okay, that's what the Ace of Pentacles represents. We see this hand extended with, with the offer of, you know, like a firm foundation, a new beginning, a new start, okay, take it as it resonates here, uh, we've clearly got some earthy energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn coming in here, um, let's take some more, the High Priestess, oh my goodness, and the Ten of Pentacles, okay, your person may not have really let you know how they're truly feeling about you, okay? The high priestess can represent what what's kind of hidden, what's deep, deep down, okay? There's something here about this enormous, uh, you know, jump here, um, you know, from the ace to the ten of pentacles, this can, and it's about an offer, and it's about the two of cups, this can be about, literally about, 
something they desperately want to say to you regarding the next level of this connection, okay? Um, let's continue. So what I get here is, you know, the, the, the crossing card, the helpful hinder card, seven of wands. There are barriers, there are boundaries, there are obstacles in the way. Um, but this person here on the seven of wands, you know, they're going to do whatever it takes. I can already tell you that clearly they miss you. And whatever's in the way of this, they're going to do whatever it takes to overcome it. Okay? Let's see what surrounds them now. Oh, my goodness. They're, you know, they're actually the, the, the really obsessed. Okay? Obsessed with you. The devil energy here. Deep down. Um, let, let's continue. The Knight of Pentacles. So, you know, there's going to be many different scenarios here, but things haven't moved in the way that they wanted them to with you. We've got some stuck energy in the past position with this Knight of Pentacles, okay? Um, now we're going through this, like, very important time inside of their mind when what's hidden, what's what's kind of blocked, what's stagnating. I, I feel like everything's like rushing to the surface now. And th there's only so much longer they can hold all in all of these feelings for you. Because they've got there's a lot they want to tell you. It's so clear to me. Um let's take a look. Yeah, nine of swords. So okay what didn't they do in a timely fashion okay that that's that's for some of you absolutely um because there's something here about physically being together okay the ones can truly represent that face-to-face -face energy like traveling um but i can tell you that they're they're really struggling to sleep here um, there's a, I get a sense of anxiety, a, a sense of regret with non-action regarding how they feel about you and the lack of action that they've taken regarding you with this nine of swords, with this devil, okay? And right in the center of it all is just the incredible love for you. Um, four of pentacles. So... There's something here about finances, perhaps. Uh, there's something here about the status quo. Something's got to give here going forwards, and they're very aware of this. It's not happening immediately, but something's going to give. Okay, let's let's take. Why do, you know why are they having to hold everything in? What's going on in their life? What's going on in your life? There's, there's, there's many scenarios, but something is blocking them being able to open up to you presently. Um, let's take three here. Justice. Transformation with the death energy. Oh, there it is. So that's what was coming through, that they're gonna, that, that they've got something to tell you so important about where they want this connection with you to go. Um, they feel like, like kind of, that. they just don't feel like whole. They, they feel like there's part of themselves missing when you're not with them. They miss you desperately. And I, what I get here for you is expect a message. A communication, the Knight of Swords. It's kind of like when you're least expecting it here. Okay. Um. Queen of Swords. So this is about whatever's happened. They want to be open and honest to you about it, and they they don't want to repeat past mistakes. And I feel like they've made a mistake here. They. There's the, the action that they didn't take towards you. 
Um, Four of Swords. So there's something here about their mind and about recovery of the mind, okay? There's something here about this ability to speak. They need to be able to speak their truth to you. Um, you two could have, you know, split here. And they're, they're building up to telling you that they're sorry. And that they want this new beginning with you. There's something here strongly about that this time they want to take it to new heights. This Ten of Pentacles can truly represent commitment. Um, okay. Eight of Wands. So they, they, they want to communicate with you. But there's something here about what will happen then, okay? They're a bit, they're, they're concerned about that. Um, I do know they're going to communicate with you. There's no doubt about it here, okay? There's no doubt. I'm going to take these cards now. Uh, I do just want to quickly mention, I do offer private readings, all of those details to book are in the description box below, book via Etsy or PayPal. Um, I also offer a reading with a turnaround time of um, within 24 hours, and that's available seven days a week. And I really want to mention, um, if you would like to uh, see my reviews, they're all there for you on Etsy. Um, so, right, having said that, I really want to get back to this reading now. So let's take a look at these uh, oracle cards, okay? Oh, beautiful. Birthing a new age, birthing new creations, dreaming a new world into being. So there's some, there's fresh new energy coming through here. Oh, and there it is. A message, Knight of Swords. There's going to be a message coming to you from them. Twin Flames. So yes, there we go. That's what, you know, this is why we've got this seven of wands here because it's not an easy, easy path, okay? There are obstacles. There's, there's been difficulties here. But the love between you two is undeniable. Two of cups, first card out. Seven of wands, twin flames. Let's take this card now. Oh, incredible. Um, you know, your person just feels lost without you. They literally go weak at the knees when they think about you. You're the one for them. It comes through so strongly with this final card, the strength energy. Okay? So that's beautiful. If you found this reading helpful, I'd be so grateful for that thumbs up. And if you subscribe, then you'll be notified of my next reading. So right now, I'm going to move on to set of cards number two. Okay, so right now I'm moving on to this set of cards, number two, the title of the reading, Does He Miss Me? So let's first of all uh, shuffle this deck several times. So this is going to be an in-depth Celtic cross reading, looking deep into your person's energies, feelings for you. And to answer this question, do they miss you? Okay. So 
So this card represents your person, the question, the crossing card or help or hinder card, subconscious hidden energies, past or near past, external energies, future or near future, feelings, environment, hopes, wishes and fears. And the outcome card, never to be taken in the literal sense, but to be interpreted. And let's now also place down our oracle cards. Okay, so let's go ahead. Um, right at the centre of the reading, we have the Queen of Swords. So, so the Queen of Swords, it's, it's kind of like, there's kind of mixed energies that come through with this, because... There's something here about truth and absolute honesty and conversation, okay? But there's something here regarding the way things have been and the way things, the, the way that they want things to be going forwards, okay? Uh, there's something here regarding the past. Like, there's something here to do with... Um, not wanting to repeat mistakes from the past. Okay, so let's take some further cards here. Um, okay, let's take three. Okay. Hierophant, the star. Oh, they didn't. Okay, okay, they, what I get here is this, you two could have split up, you two could have not got as far as full commitment, there's something like that going on because there's a, there's a deep realisation within them now that they, they've lost you, you're, you're the star very clearly and there's something here about the work that they didn't put in and there's something here about their consistency and uh, the the commitment side of things, okay, is coming through very very strongly, um, and w w how they feel is, you know, whatever they didn't bring, okay, now now they're ready to bring it, okay, um, it is difficult energy. There's kind of like the the the, the like mourning the loss of you. But they know that it's something that they created themselves. This isn't going to resonate for everybody. But that's the messages I'm getting through here. You know, right at the outset. Um, and they weren't honest with you. And they know that. Um, let's see this card. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Ten of Cups. You know deep realization that they've that you're the love of their life you're the person that they're in love with and they've messed it up here and they're very very aware of it very aware um they just want to go back in time there's there's something here about going back in time so that they don't have to miss you because of course they miss you They feel so lost without you. This is what I'm getting here. Let's take these cards. Ten of Wands. Seven of Swords. They could have been the person who actually pulled themselves away from you. Okay? You know, it may not be a true total split. There might just be something about the off and on hot and cold energy and... Um, they're kind of in, in control of the narrative. And whatever they've just done, or whatever they've done, they, they, they didn't get, it was like a, a well, not very, it didn't feel good for you. Like they, they did something out of the blue that you, you just were so shocked. You were not expecting it. They know now they, that they're in total regret. For what they've done. Um, they they kind of like 
struggle with truly opening up, okay? That's what we've got going on here. Um, this is something they've got to work on themselves, clearly, with this Ten of Wands here. Deep down in their subconscious, they, they, they struggle with real feelings, with, with, with real feeling it. And they, they close it down. And it's, there's something here about, you know, if they pretend it's not happening and it's not real, then they can't get hurt. But their behavior seems very erratic. And you're on the receiving end of it and it's, it's very traumatic for you. But, you know, when we take away all the layers of them deep down, they just miss you like crazy here. Um... Yeah, two of cups. There it is. They want to bring more balance to this connection. I'm getting this off and on energy. Something's changing here, though. The layers are being peeled off. We're getting to the core and the root of this now. Because they're in a lot of pain. Um, oh, transformation. Transformation. Going forwards. Whatever's truly gone wrong here, they want to transform it and they want to make up for it. Coming through strongly. Let's. You know, this is the thief in the night. This can be about you two were living together and they and they just left, or you two were go you two had decided that you were going to do this. You had all of these plans, and then they really, really let you down. But they, oh, they, they really regret it now. Oh yeah, you see, do they miss you? Oh yeah, five of cups. Yes. And they know that it was their doing. Oh, Knight of Swords. Okay. For some of you, it may be worth you going back to look at set of cards number one. Okay. Also, um, they desperately want to speak to you. They know they've got a... What, what I'm getting is they want to say whatever it's going to take to, you know, convince you that this time it's going to be different, okay? And you may not believe that, but what I'm getting here with this death energy is very transformative. So it's kind of like something with, within them is changing, yeah, because they're working on themselves, the Eight of Pentacles, they're doing, they're really trying to work on themselves here, to be more consistent, um, yeah, Page of Wands, uh, yeah, there's like a, an impetuousness about them, you know, uh, and, you may not believe, and they, they, are, they are aware that they've got just so much to prove now, okay, with this, because they are, they are a page, okay, because they don't deal with their feelings very well, okay, so I'm going to take these final cards now, I do just need to quickly interrupt to let you know, if you'd ever like a personal reading with me, all of those details to book are in the description box below, you can book via Etsy or PayPal, I do offer a reading with a 24-hour turnaround, which is available seven days a week. Um, so, having said that, let's take a look at these cards. Summon, oh yeah. Um, so, this is just very powerful, kind of fiery energy that's uh, coming right up from the pit of their stomach now. You know, they, they just want to literally have you there face to face so that they can you know, truly do what it takes now to transform this, okay? Um, 
and we and there there it is the card of transformation your relationship with one another is about to deepen love conquers and transforms all things okay and oh yeah longing for home belonging they want to come home to you okay let's take this card oh they are a page they are a page oh they miss you like crazy i feel like there's something here about they've had to learn a lesson uh you're very strong you've you you may be the person who said no here and now they they do realize there's a lot of work for them to do but they are trying to do it and um I see beautiful proposals coming in here. And, you know, there's a beautiful purity associated with the Page of Cups. It's kind of like, you know, showing themselves to you, showing how they really feel about you, okay, from the bottom of their heart, that this is what I'm getting coming through. So that's beautiful. Um, if you found this reading helpful, I'd be so grateful for that thumbs up. And if you subscribe, then you'll be notified of my next reading. Um, so I'm going to move on now to set of cards number three. now I'm going to move on to this set of cards number three does he miss me so this is going to be an in-depth Celtic cross reading looking deep into your person's uh, energies to answer this question okay so let's place these cards aside for a moment and go ahead and shuffle this deck several times Sense your person the question crossing card or help or hinder card subconscious hidden energies past or near past external energies future or near future feelings environment hopes wishes and fears and the outcome card never to be taken in the literal sense but to be interpreted and here are our clarifying cards so uh, let's take a look now. We have. Oh my goodness. Okay. Okay. Now. You also need to go back and look at set of cards number two. Because the first card out in set of cards number two. Was also the queen of swords. Okay. So. The queen of swords. Um, you know. It's about. A harshness it's about a cynicism but it's also about honesty but it can be about extremes okay so I'm getting kind of like two different sides going on here two two different versions almost is, is the best way to describe it um, let's let's take some more You know, your person's been hurt in the past, okay? That, that's happened. That could be, you know, what is affecting this connection. That's actually coming through really, really strong. Okay? Um, the lovers, yeah. The three of cups, yeah. Oh, my goodness me. 
they're, they're completely in love with you, okay? They, they desperately want to see you. You're everything to them. There, there it is, okay? What They've been hurt in the past. Um, and it's affected the way that they've treated you, okay? There's something here about them put them being their own worst energy a enemy rather. They've kind of they're like putting blocks and boundaries in the way of this connection with you, even though they're completely in love with you, and they miss you like crazy. Nine of cups, three of cups, lovers energy. Um, they want to heal this. We've just got cups upon cups upon cups coming through here. Okay. Um, so, what are they going to do about it? Okay. Because they've got to do something very clearly. Uh, they want to do something about this. Ten of pentacles here. Oh, they've lost their empress. You, you are the empress. Um, okay. Uh, ten of pentacles here. Yeah, it's decision time decision time and it's their decision they've got to shake off this queen of swords energy because they've the they've met you or the with you you're you're the person you're you're actually the person that can truly make them leave the past behind okay got something here about the month of September okay very important the autumn time um they got a decision to make they're, they're too strict okay with their energy they're not showing themselves to you let's continue yeah ace of swords your person's very conflicted inside of their mind because of what's happened in the past. Okay? They know they need to reach a clarity here about, about this and about what they're going to do. Um, let's take three going forwards. Nine of Wands, Four of Swords. Oh, okay. So, the Wounded Warrior, that's who they are. There's some recovery time needed here. But they're going to recover. And there's something here about them tentatively approaching you. Okay. Page of Pentacles. Um, there's a, a fresher, lighter, brighter energy associated with the Page of Pentacles, okay? The, it's kind of like they're coming out of a deep, dark cave. That's what I'm getting here. And it's, it's thanks to you that they're even doing this because they've met you and it's, it's rocked their world, Okay? And they don't know how to handle it. Um, oh, yeah. You have rocked their world. They're obsessed with you. Devil energy. Are they having to hide this? This could be third party. You've rocked their world. This is why the big decision's coming in. Okay, it's for some of you. The High Priestess is all about that inner knowing also. They know you're the one. Right now, at this very moment, they know it. Um, let's take a look. Oh, Knight of Swords. Yeah. So this is about the conversation. The big conversation. 
that they need to have with you. That can change both of your destinies forever. They're scared and excited. Okay? That's the energy that I'm getting here. Very unsettled. Um, okay. I'm going to take these oracle cards. I'm just going to quickly interrupt to let you know uh, if you'd ever like a personal reading with me. All of those details to book are in the description box below. You can book via Etsy or PayPal. I do offer a reading with a 24-hour turnaround, which is available seven days a week. Having said that, I really want to go back into this reading now. So we have, oh yes, there it is. Dance with life, do something to change your energy. This is what they've got to do because, you know, what is life if, if you're just going through the motions, okay? If you're not taking chances, if you're not embracing what makes you happy and you make them so happy. Um... Let's take a look. Yes, obedience. See what? Why are they being so strict? What? Why? What are they obeying to here? The the inner conflict. The the, the sword. Um, deep in your heart, you already know the answer. Do what feels right. That that's what this high priestess is all about here. And, oh my goodness, the Two of Cups. There's the outcome card. Beautiful. Um, I feel like they're coming towards you here. It's beautiful. This is about a beautiful, balanced, loving connection in the future. But they know it needs to come from them. It's got to come from their mouth. They've got to speak it to you. So... Uh, I'll leave the reading there. I really hope you found it helpful. If you did, I'd be so grateful for that thumbs up. And if you subscribe, then you'll catch my next reading. Okay then, bye.